by now, I think you all saw the uh, blackface controversy of Trudeau in blackface three separate times. And when that news came out, I did a whole video on it. I predicted that this really wouldn't affect them all that much. Not only was I correct <laughs> thinking that, and the reason I thought that is because I assumed many Canadians don't know the history of blackface and don't also know how that behavior from Trudeau connects to his behavior today. I was right. And like, it's not like I made a prediction out of the blue. No, my prediction was informed on what I already assume about most Canadians. Not only did it not affect Justin Trudeau negatively, it positively affected him. So let me show you this poll that just came out that shows you the, uh, sorry, this is just the, the main graphic, I guess. So liberals are up by three, <laughs> conservatives down by one, and no change for NDP or the Greens. But it's even more, I mean, when you look at the, 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 uh, the graphs here, it's just, it's crazy to see the uptick after this news, because you know that, like, just, it's, like, I'm laughing because it's so absurd. It's so sad that this is our country. So here you go. Liberals were down. In fact, if I go back to this tweet, I think uh, David uh, Coletto here says, um, this is the first lead for the Liberals since May. <laughs> So, the way Trudeau got back in the lead is by the media going after him because of this blackface stuff. He's down this whole time. Blackface happens. Boom. Gains three points. Takes over the conservatives. Now, when it comes to the conservatives, as I said on Twitter, I, I replied to this, uh, Andrew Scheer, obviously, is not good on this issue. He's completely phony. The week before this happened, Andrew Scheer said, well... Uh, about his own MPs, because some of them are facing controversy about racist remarks that they made in the past. He said, well, as long as they apologize, well, then we can get over it. We can move on. <laughs> well, Trudeau, then a week later, this happened to Trudeau, and all of a sudden, Andrew Scheer, this is the worst thing that's ever happened in the history of Canada. Oh my God, I can't believe Justin Trudeau in blackface, even though Trudeau apologized, of course, didn't matter to Andrew Scheer. Andrew Scheer is just totally phony. And if you actually look at the polling on who cared about that issue most, about Trudeau and blackface, it was conservatives. <laughs> so shamelessly, conservatives pretend in polling when they're called about this issue, oh, yeah, this really bothers me. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to vote for Andrew Scheer. Like, they have no shame. This, the idea that conservative voters really cared about, Blue, uh, about Trudeau and blackface, give me a break. But just like their voters... Many, again, not all their voters, but many other voters, uh, just like many of their voters, Andrew Scheer, totally empty, completely phony. So I think that actually, I, I think uh, Scheer pretending to care about this issue, I think actually negatively hurt or, or negatively impacted him. I think if he came out and said, oh, well, Trudeau apologized, we can move on. I think it may actually, he may have <laughs> gained some support uh, off of that because it would show, hey, well, at least Andrew Shear's being honest here, but Shear came off like a typical politician, pretending to care about an issue he's never cared about before, and people saw through that, and it hurt him. At the same time here, Jagmeet Singh had a fantastic response to it, a, a honest response to it, and connected it to Trudeau's behavior on other issues, like how he treated the Grassy Narrows First Nations protesters, how he just, you know, pushed them aside. People either didn't see Jagmeet Singh's response or didn't care what he had to say. So their support, as you see here, is flat. And the Greens as well. The, the Greens were kind of weird on this issue. I think they actually, um, from what I saw, Elizabeth May and I believe Andrew Weaver in BC um, both said that I don't care about this issue. And they said we should move on and talk about something else. The Greens aren't all that great on race issues, at least, at least rhetorically. So I think that was... Uh, you know, not a good move on their part. That's actually what the conservatives, if they were being honest, would have said. But of course, they were not. Um, I haven't looked at all these. Let's, let's take a look at some some of this other data here. So vote intention by age. Uh, so younger people are leaning towards the liberals. 
Unfortunately, I think people are seeing, are seeing right now, hey, it's going to be the liberals or the conservatives, and in that case, they choose the liberals. But that's also where the biggest chunk of support for the NDP and the Greens are. So I think that is uh, also enlightening, or to be expected. Um, and then you kind of expect, you know, as the age groups get older, more conservative support, as it tends to be. Intention by education. So, uh, university graduates support liberals most. NDP has the most support from college grads. And, uh, I guess conservative support is most with, uh, high school or less. I do want to see this. So, impressions of Trudeau. So, largely negative, but it's going down. So, again... (laughs) <laughs> blackface helped him uh, unbelievable i mean believable but unbelievable so he went up after that of course uh sheer went down after people saw through his bs and also look this is also not even just about that this is also when the campaigns kicked off when people actually began just as i said i, I look i hope this trend continues we don't know for sure but just as i said when people actually see andrew sheer like when these campaigns kick off I said people would, his support will go down because he is so phony. If you think Trudeau is phony, and I, I agree with you, he is, Andrew Scheer is at least as phony as Justin Trudeau is. And people are seeing seeing him for that. And that's why his support, I think, is uh, is going down as well. Um, Jagmeet Singh, I like to see that. His support shot up there. Again, once the campaigns launched, people actually saw these these leaders. His support goes way up shoots way up his negative support goes down um elizabeth may her support's going up uh i generally i like elizabeth may i think she's made some poor moves but i think she comes off as somebody who's at least honest uh in in her convictions honest about what she's about so i think people like that 